Welcome everyone to another fun live stream here. In a previous episode, um, we auto converted packages from Alpine Linux of all distributions of all the 1959. So, and here, of course, with our T2 Linux distribution, right? If you're new to this stuff or just raw 25 years in the making, previously Oracle Linux, now T2 since 15 or so years. And I, the reason I did this, of course, we have 4,000 of our own vintage and, and retro 25 years maintained packages. But of course, as you recurrently see here, there are just so many things, right? Open source stuff grows faster than leaves on a tree. And um, so just trivially converting packages. So that was previous video, right? Six months ago. And so I have here some, so that, that is all of some T2A ports imported tree. Um, here in Contrib, and I have to say, I, I even deleted some already, so I didn't commit them yet. This is like 4,000 new packages, right? Who wouldn't, who wouldn't want 4,000 more packages? And uh, 4,000, I meant 5,800, and so we have some 4,000 packages, it's like basically doubling our packages, and this is already with some deleted. And for quite a while, I wasn't sure whether I should commit them. Um, that's okay, let's maybe run with it. Uh, what did we, uh, no space left on the Y, that is not ideal, maybe. <clears throat> so much to building everything in TEM. And for a while I wasn't sure, like for six months or so since the previous video, I wasn't sure how many I or what I should commit from that. And I've realized in the meantime, it is, I mean, this is just metadata, right? Some of them will not even build. And so all of all of this is not even, I, I, bas I basically currently rebuild everything possible. Uh, now we only need to uh, maybe actually so much to, I mean, 96 gigs of memory. <laughs> this is on a 15 and 50x in the office remotely. Uh, no space in, uh, uh, that is not, not, not ideal. Um, so much leaving that running for some time. Cut delimiter field one, uh, unique, and redo, I guess, that. And so all those we had, of course, right? I just rebuilt everything just for testing. Uh, basically, I, I also marked all our packages like for testing purposes. You see here, dedications, only constant is change, dedication, and every day some open source elbow grease and, and wrenching and stuff. And I came to the conclusion I will just commit actually most of them because it's just, I mean, stealing, I mean, it's of course a, a little bit clickbait, right? It's, I mean, the packages are still in A ports and this is, only some metadata that we, I mean, it's that's the point of open source, right? Sharing and caring. And what this gives us, except 5,000 probably mostly broken packages because I only auto-converted metadata, not they have like gazillions of, of code that I'm, of like open coded making stuff to build code. And did I even auto-convert the patches? Um, I'm not even sure if auto, maybe I, I probably didn't even auto convert patches. So, and so the reason is, it's basically, we, we don't need many of them, right? But in the meantime, I already added manually lip camera or uh, proto buffer method buffer, whatever stuff. And it's just too time consuming um, for anyone to spend their human lifetime in collecting this metadata, right? So this is basically more than doubling our packages of, again, mostly not building, but again, the time consuming, annoying stuff of curate, I mean, it's not even amazing beta, beta, metadata, right? Because the Alpine Linux airports don't have that much metadata. For example, we usually have more description. I think they, they, they basically don't have real description there, as far as I've seen. And so the question is, so I deleted already quite some stuff. I deleted, I mean, some stuff was also different. So I already deleted QT stuff and I deleted 
like Android packages of uh, YOLO or whatever. So basically that is, um, are we also still building that? Uh, whatever. Um, so the question is, there's also a lot of garbage packages or of, of stuff or maybe not as much as garbage, but at least like, do, you, do we really need that? Does anyone really need that? I mean, sure. I mean, you could always, some of the stuff is like, like YOLO, what the heck? It's, I, also, I also wonder like, why does it stuff need to exist, right? And that is a, the question of how much of our treasure trove of our heist of robbing and stealing their packaged metadata, how much of the stuff should we really keep? Again, Android stuff I deleted, their Alpine Linux specific stuff I deleted, some, mm, some Qt stuff I've deleted. Um, and so, for example, I noticed like some stuff I looked up here manually. So the question is, for example, this set shell theme power level 10K. It's like, like, do what the heck, what are people even doing in there? Um, uh, with their life or stuff. Theme for set as age, emphasis, speed, flexibility, and out of the box experience. The, I mean, this description doesn't even tell me much, right? It's like, like, do what? Um, theoretically, we could, of course, I, like, I have actually no idea what, like, like, theme for, I mean, pff, what does it, like, some fancy prompt, like, this is a kind of stuff like, do what the heck? Um, what the heck is even going on? Um, like, 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 do you? I mean, maybe it's super amazing. Um, this kind of stuff, theoretically, and that is the thing, right? This is like, um, theoretically, um, if we want to make our metadata better, like even maybe it would be like that, like title and, and that. <sighs> I mean, maybe it is one of the more reasonable um, packages here. There is so much stuff. So basically, even stealing other people, I mean, sure, I had to script that. Probably took me one hour. Like, you need to watch the previous video. Maybe it took me one hour to script. Um, just curating that even takes some time, right? For example, I noticed this set RAM stuff. So this, some of the stuff, like, this is so small stuff, it is ridiculous, right? This is a wrapper script for a set RAM kernel module. It's like, dude, what the heck? Um, I didn't even know that this is, that. there's even, like, for example, the set, 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 and this, and this is the kind of stuff, and the point of this video, right? Do we really, do, do Linux distributions really need such packages? Like, for example, set, 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 I mean, you could argue if you want to be a full featured Linux distribution with everything, like A from like T2, a general purpose from truly embedded to VMs, virtualization, server, desktop and stuff, then you need everything. But does is this really everything, right? Do we really need... This is, this is like I suspended PowerBooks and iBooks like... 20 years ago, like in Linux and 2022, we have packages of suspend or hibernate your computers. Like, like you, I had we, I thought we had like a CPI demo. Like, this is kind of stuff. Like, do do we really need this? I mean, sure, I can just commit this and call it call it a day. Um, may and also I come back, and yes, we will soon start start and continue our microkernel and stuff. Uh, because I want to do some more modern and amazing stuff, and, and no, it will no longer be vaporware for, for many reasons. Um, if you argue this package concept of Linux distributions are the way to go, then of course the answer probably would be yes, we need this package because that's an open source package, um, and, and because it's some open source package for Linux, and your Linux distribution should provide all packages because that is the thing then we would need that, right? A simple program, I think it's, is it shell? Oh, no, it wasn't shell, uh, this, is, this is so silly. Uh, so silly packages, I'm, I'm really sorry. If you're the author and I don't wanna personally discredit you or stuff, I just I just personally find it silly. Um, such sleep packages, 
especially writing this in, in C. And this is a um, 380-line C program. Oh, what changed here? Um, and this is just writing to some for files and stuff. And I would argue I've been there. I've done that. I converted the Rock Linux inherited initRT, for example, from C to shell exactly for this reason. Like, because in my opinion, um, such kind of tribal loading, parsing, running files and writing something like this. I mean, this is ser seriously better implemented in shell, not because our T2 Linux distribution is implemented in shell, just because I have been there. I have done that. It was super. I mean, this is super travel stuff, right? Just like, just writing some files. Um, but even the whole initRD and installer initRD, I found way more maintainable, readable, less error prone and stuff like, like initRD, installer initRD. You do you want to randomly segmentation for it in, in because you write this in C. And so basically what would be the job now? And I just, I actually tried to cross compile all the stuff because nothing like ruining your running system with cross compiling um, all the stuff and, and writing stuff out of um, your sysroot. Feeling lucky. Um, so, quite of those compile or like um, some, some even cross compile without due to the nature of our fully automated, it's like what is there, make file, Mason and stuff, and then run it. Um, so I filter out here Perl and Python let's, and, and Contrib. Let's not filter out Contrib and see how many builds there. So of all of this stuff, I mean, it's not that many of the 5,000, but don't forget, this is cross-compile. This is not with a, a full dependency chain. Um, so the next thing would be to go through there and theoretically filter of what we really want. Um, we could also do one... Uh, did I, I probably... So to go through there, what we really want would be as easy as, for example, grabbing for the title, tag and... Also not that, but actually um, only the modified ones, so would be this stuff here, so... Um, a desk Oops. and then actually we no, it doesn't matter too much. I usually use because contrib has more. If if we just grab over contrib, there's also some random stuff from Puppy Linux and other contributors of not that imported random miscellaneous, not mission critical stuff. Um, and based on, for example, we could go through here and enjoy together what amazing packages exist. Um, fast loading window. So yeah, it includes some more window, window managers. And if you want to contribute to this, if you find it too amazing for running this on your P3, as you obtain Sunspark Station or latest and greatest unmatched RISC-V workstation or Epic Red Ripping AMD or Intel system, um, patches welcome. We have, of course, Um, some issues. If you just also want to work on some stuff, I just the last hours, the last just last 24 hours, I edit here from compiling everything and noting, noticing some stuff. Like like you can also, if you, if you want to practice getting started with open source, right? Previous video, right? Previous popular video, how to get started with open source stuff. You can just look, take a look here. We have some low hanging build errors, like decade old packages that just don't build anymore because latest and greatest GCC. So like they have. They were building a decade ago, but now 10 versions, 10 major versions of GCC later, and it's like that doesn't compile due to stronger checking CC++ stuff or other outdated patches and, and strange locations and stuff. And even, hey, package all the free. If, if you have one the winter project, like winter is coming, package all the remaining 50 or so 
display and login managers. Um, actually, I, I, a couple of ones I actually um, committed. Um, actually, kernel module for calling. I mean, some of the stuff is really low level developer stuff, right? Um, even for those like ACPI call source and probably the name even sucks. Um, and that is, of course, why T2 is one of the best distributions, right? Because we have same packages and same names and because, like, why is this thing called source? Um, maybe because it's, I don't know, I, I don't have a reason this is source. This is, why is this thing called source? Source, a KMS, like, do why, what? Um, so honestly, that would need a, a rename and this name also somehow. I don't like underscore names, although that is upstream. Oh, this is from Nix community. So the Alpine Linux people have already stolen it from the Nix community. I mean, in theory, that sounds interesting, but this is a total low level. I mean, even I did not came across that, right? And that is Certainly one of the more amazing takeaways here, like even me 25 years later finding totally crazy packages. But this is not what a normal develop a normal user would need, right? This is not for Joe or Joanne. Uh, Joanne. Um, Linux users, this is for like like battery, like previous video, right? Hacking, unbreaking Apple's battery with ACPI or other such low-level debugging stuff. So very, very, very few people need that. And, and that is, even if you steal this stuff, right, you still should clean this up a little bit because, um, yeah. Um, the name I'm, how many, I, I don't think we have many underscore package names. Um, okay, we have, we have some. Okay, I mean, if we, uh, I find an underscore name silly, but um, how many underscore names do we have here? Also quite some. Yeah, so and this also includes quite some Ruby, Python, and Perl stuff, whereas like, like, nah. I mean, there is some libsdl, although probably this libsdl stuff we have repackaged, so again, not all of this stuff is, is new there, right? Um, so yeah, can we rename that? I'm not sure. Sometimes subversion is a little bit stubborn of a C P I, but basically leave me in the comments below how many packages should we steal, and what was the other question? Oh, by the way, I have another question for you. Leave me in the comments below if, if you ever used. Oh, I don't have it. Um, does this stuff also continue? Hey, it's something built there. Um, do you have another? I googled that the other day. I didn't had a clear answer. Um, with Google, like like 2022, you, you ask you, that's the crazy stuff, by the way, is Google soon out of business because artificial intelligence becomes better? So what random shit is, oh, no space left on us. What are you doing now? Don't tell me I built this on, oh darn, my root system is full. Ah, uh, that is not ideal. Probably should urgently, oh, you know what, I, oh no, wait, why is uh, this, of course, has so much too. Uh, that is not ideal. Clobbering my running system is uh, always live on this channel. Some random shit happens. Maybe I shouldn't. Um, I probably can. Was the package name of Open Office? Certainly don't need Firefox. It certainly should free something. Nah. But my so my my question uh, is: uh, Do you have a recommendation for a good text mode file browser? I asked Google, and and only got random nonsense. All right. Uh, Value for canonical build. Mm. I think I messed something up here. That is not, not, not ideal. Uh, it is possible that this configuration 
um, maybe we clobber the configuration. Anyway, so the point is, no, this is Linux, it looks not too bad. And also, so those so two things, do you have recommendations for not midnight commander or is everyone like, you have never seen me midnight commander? I'm, I usually don't use midnight commander, but if you, um, if you navigate 4,000 new packages, it can actually be helpful. Um, and the other thing is, will Google be soon out of business? Like, or, I mean, maybe Google hopefully has some secret AI project because otherwise is some general AI stuff soon replacing Google because becoming smarter than answering questions and, hey, Google, what are midnight commander alternatives or console text mode file browsers and all you get is random bullshit answers. So Google for tech stuff in 2022. Um, questions here, what book do we recommend to um, all the things? Dude book? I don't think there are books to um, know all the things. Certainly I recommend the classics. Um, either uh, operating system design, Minix, or the Dragon compiler book, beautiful data um, and beautiful code or stuff, um, and, and other such stuff, but otherwise just watch some, share, like, subscribe, watch some good YouTubers, um, read some wikis, follow some open source stuff, and otherwise, it, of course, otherwise comes with experience. And the more you, uh, like, do a previous video, right? Get started with open source, do some, the more open source stuff you do, the more you see and learn. And, get in touch and then stuff just multiplies. Um, whatever. Uh, so yeah, um, otherwise shall I subscribe Patreon and, and, and GitHub sponsorship and all the good stuff. Um, but leave me in the comments below. I mean, always like if you watch this later, book recommendations, don't comments down there. Um, but Probably, I would also say like nowadays, good people writing on the internet, like like some find some good authors on, on Medium. It's called Medium, right? Medium and so on. So, what? So, um, this is really, so the other thing is, uh, yeah, so basically I think I, I had a questionnaire. So if you're interested in questionnaire and also you probably want to share, like subscribe both of my channels this and the Momain channel. And I think I had a question here some a while ago about my stolen packages. Um, but as usual, I ask, oh yeah, are you ready for 5,000 new? Yes, yeah, so 37, and this is also, I really use this also. I mean, I. It's often I use it as a reality check or engagement. Obviously, um, I mean, if we combine yes, the more the better. And but your microkernel because of reasons, then that is seventy eight percent, and otherwise, now nah, seven percent manually curated and 2% don't miss anything. And I mean, only 14% like what you stole them. Um, probably is a good indication of just committing that. So probably what I will probably do, and as I said in the beginning, right, I realized, I mean, maybe I should have committed to six months ago, or hey, it was only three months ago. So not that much time passed. But as I said, how does that box space and elf diff, what the heck? Some tools, what even packages is freaking going on there? Um, I, there's also elf utils. Did I not just fix elf utils? Uh, what? So we have two more polishing jobs to do, or three. So first we need to clean this up a tiny little bit more. For example, some license tags are invalid. Um, we can e probably easily find them with I hate Apple keyboards, by the way. If, in case I, why they need, had to use other keyboard layouts than everyone else is beyond me, except. So if there are some parentheses in there, then it's probably not all right. 
are thankfully not too many, so let's manually do that. No point of scripting that. So it's fixing syntax errors like that, then um, cleaning up the title takes a little bit more. For example, sometimes there is like more than one sentence or stuff, like trim that off for a start. And then it's going again over that and deleting the worst random bullshit. Um, oh, there's some more license and so like there's some more license stuff. But yeah, nothing. Me. BSL, what APL with all the M? Hmm. Let's call this APL for now. GPL3 later. Why is this so much stuff? I mean, it's funny that they, I mean, they have some more um, license. So, but this is also, what should I do with that, right? So this, is, this is coming from the Alpine Linux um, A ports, like GPL2 or later, LGPL3, GPL3. It's like, like, do you, what, what is it now? Um, it, it, it's, sure, it, Maybe our T2 licensing is a little bit, I mean, sure, we can also, basically we can, we can actually do that. Um, I guess we have all of those probably, but I mean, that's like maybe, maybe that is what it is. Libraries are, backends are dual, GPL 2.3, the utilities are, I mean, okay, GPL, but uh, it, it's crazy. So. Yeah, I, I guess it's that, but um, what the heck is that? Even additional components from like KIO, LGPL, LGPL3. It's like, like, do you, do you have nothing better to I mean if we open, like, why do we not have the you have to lose this top? We have like more licensing problems, and pff, it's it's ridiculous. Uh, it's, pff, it's I have no words any, anymore, um, to be to be honest. Text editor, written in Rust, sounds amazing. Um, written in less than one so uh, less than one k lines of code, but three licenses. Achievement unlocked. Uh, every every other line has a license. Um, BSL probably, I mean, again, complete bullshit here, right? Uh, LLVM based decompiler, okay. But I mean, like every license uh, under the kitchen thing, right? We, we don't even have those licenses. Um, I mean, I could make my life easier. I may, uh, so maybe that deleting some stuff is maybe not um, accurate. I, I, I even would need to look up if we have artistic, but I, I guess we have, but probably like instead of deleting some stuff we don't have, I mean, sure, I could add that license text, but. Um, there is some if like if it's not a popular license, there is also a limit of how many random licenses are yet. Um, but um, otherwise, I could make my life, life easier if just just saying, hey, it's open source, right? We have open source. Like last resort, like some random garbage, like we call it open source. But it's like, cheers. I also need new coffee. Hey, assistant, I need new coffee for the YouTube please do you Still no assistant. You need to share, like, subscribe. I need, I need to assistant to curate that and, and coffee, obviously. Um, LGPL, again, some everything but the kitchen thing. License parts. Uh, what is even is it? Library dedicated display objects. What? 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 Launchpad? Ideal. So, um, what I probably, um, there, there is still, should I compile? I mean, what I will probably do because committing 5,000 broken packages is annoying. What I will probably also do is commit them in chunks, like 100 packages of, hey, this stuff did build, that stuff did even cross compile, or like, like actually I will start um, with cross compile because that's what I'm testing right now. More random shit to delete. Um, G 
just some space of my full root of it. Um, AFL, do we have AFL? Doesn't sound familiar. No, whatever. If if this triggers you or that is incorrect enough, then patch is welcome, right? I'm, it's just too many licenses for me, right? I mean, and this is also like ISC, but MSD, like what, like what is this parenthesis thing of Alpine Linux? It's, I mean, and like LGPL only, but I mean, LGPL2 only, but LGPL3, LGPL2, it's like, like, what is wrong with, I mean, sure, it's KDE hex, it is driven octa, octa, but the, I mean, I understand how it's probably, happened. they probably take some different modules that they find and, and then, I mean, you can't call this LGPL2 only if it's also LGPL3, GPL2, GPL3, and GFDL only. It's, it's it, it is so silly. Um, I trim this because the meaning, so they're Alpine. I think in Alpine, you probably can't put the anything. In T2, we check that for valid licenses like for example typo. So what their GPL-2 stuff is, is GPL for us. Um, this is why I modify this a little bit. I, I'm not sure if we have that, so I, I don't think we have that. So that, that is as accurate as I can instantly mimic that here. And again, if you are the author and, and maintainer and stuff, and if this is too inaccurate for you, please send the patch. Um, GPL. Two lighter. This is one of the. Do we have satellite? Maybe we have satellite. Not sure. Yeah, it's. I will probably find. I can leave it like that, but it doesn't highlight. Do we have satellite like that? Yeah, you know what? It's good enough for me. Oh, is the free hand? Okay, then we call this open source. I think we have that. Um, BSD. It's like BSD, but GPL2 only. It's like, th this triggers me. This, this truly, this, this, this truly is insane. And even stolen packages create quite some work, right? Sure, but it, it decreases postfix scenario right scheme demon. Things, it, things that you only know exist if you share, like, subscribe, and watch my more live channel here. On, on, on live on YouTube. Um, I, I this is also APL BSD brackets BSD again. It's like, like why is this in there two times? It's, pff, I have no words of this life. It's licensing. It's like BSD. It's like, yeah, fine. Um, so yeah. Um, okay, let's, uh, the other cleanup is um, in all of those, grab, so this is grab for an title tag, um, title tag with, with a dot, so that would be like somewhere escape dot, because of course dot is match anything there, so we need to escape that. There are some, let's see what it is. Okay, there are some, okay, we need to be careful. There is some, like, yeah, I want my tools back. Th that ain't that easy though. Um, okay, let's, move. how many are those? Is it worse than 180? Not too many. Uh, let's manual scroll over, so. Okay, a lot of abbreviation stuff. Hey, there's some crazy disk info. I mean, um, also packaging names are crazy disk info. It's like, like, dude, there is a limit of craziness. Um, so on the first glance, so so much to you see something is you expect hundreds of more, but then there are only a handful because all of those. Um, so I guess. It's much less common to have full sentences in there than I expected. It's 
what I wanted to clean up for a quick start. So here's another ATA, Live ATA Smart. It's probably actually a prop, pretty, like, like one of the more quality, useful packages. Um, and you wonder that the smart one tools, people don't have a li library of this stuff. So let's see what's going on there in the comments and some people tuning in, which is always amazing to um, support our open source efforts here. Um, getting in dirty Linux means jumping in and doing it. Yeah, probably just like, like I said, why not auto bit all the things and recompile manually. Um, I auto build all the stuff, right? So that is what's running here. I think I probably previously did that. So that is, and but so some of this stuff is not just building at it. Some of the stuff is building, but installing not where it should install in T2 terms. Um, so yeah, some additional, hey, fast load. Some additional yoloing is still required. Um, and some manual click, uh, clean up. So for example here, so I guess it's only 180, so that's not worth to automate. It's, you can't, like this stuff is too irregular to come up with a regular expression. Irregular, regular expression, got it, right. But some manual polishing here of, um, is a mod library, thingy, ben. So I even, even that is a bit, just like that. Um, so just a little bit of manual cleanup and then so even some Lua stuff. Mega tools collection of accessing Mega and set service. Is that even still a thing? Is that even still online? I mean, the other stuff looks relatively okay. -ish. But again, so this is only human readable metadata. There's nothing about compiling this stuff, which as you've seen, quite some fail. So quite some Perl stuff. I mean, maybe at the end I just commit everything because if someone wants to emerge something, maybe something works. There's also WL roots, tensor we will delete. So this is kind of stuff. The more you manual review, the more you will find. And again, I already de delete quite some Alpine specific stuff. And this is also, I don't want um, this backward compatible. This is simply not important enough. Excuse me if that, it's like, nah, it's like, I find it silly that this WL root stuff is, I, I just recently felt that pain. I updated that and then it broke sway. I will not like do why can they not release compatible, keep that at least more compatible stuff, but the nah, only comfort is change and regressions. I, I got that this WL root stuff is highly ABI breaking, but it's not like if this would be like 20 years of X or then, then, but like the handful of packages right now, like it's not worth it. It's not worth it. So, um, and so again, this is only some quick broadening over that stuff. And I mean, even here, way out, output text to win. What the heck? OSD or text widgets. Interesting. Um, some of those, uh, did I use less? I wanted to use VI. Some of them might actually be worse um, to manually get working if that wouldn't build, for example. By the way, wonder uh, what is, you know, is my, can we like, Just want to see if my, I mean, this, this is not an important system. It's just a um, virtual test system on my one, of my, one of my workstations and stuff. So but I just want to check how broken my system is and always. I mean, it does work. So this glibc is somehow not happy anymore. Did it, like, yeah, so it's C code in, in 20. But, I think this LD config wherever that is coming from says so some something broke LD config. It's like 2022 or something. Okay, uh, it, it works in, in theory. So what's with our midnight commander? And I'm still waiting. I probably make this a questionnaire 
on the Moma Life channel. It's like recommendable. Um, what is going wrong? What is going on with that thing though? I uh, don't quite get what is that. Usually that happens if we configure for... Yeah. If we would accidentally configure for Mac OS or stuff, but we haven't, have we? Where's even the kernel? Yeah. Strange. Why does this random stuff always happen live on YouTube? Um, what did I want to change now? Ah, oh, tempfs. Where is tempfs? Here, use. Um, keep. By the way, is there a new stress version? One already. Oh, there is six one already. Can update that later because we have a risk. I probably should also share, like, subscribe, Patreon, and, and go find stuff. I still have the risk five thirty two patch to upstream. Getting a little tired of rediffing it every new release. This this is Ryzen. 5950X and it feels already slow, right? The the Verizon here on my desk right now at home, live stream from my home office as you see, ring subscribers will notice. And so the Ryzen 5950X, which I took at home, I borrowed from the office for, for home work here, I work at home, um, it's like 50% faster, right? Like, <laughs> so your, your last year's system, and that is how it should be, right? If it's not like at least 50%, she could always argue like, yeah, but 30%, like, but yeah, that's like 50% faster, right? That, that is, Certainly, certainly seeing a very last year system already feels um, slow. Which, which is in, insane, right? Although this has more, more memory, 96 gigs of DDR4 versus 64 gigs of DDR5. So what's going on here? That is a little bit bizarre. Build system, value for canonical. What is even, what have I broken here? <laughs> Build T uh, two Linux GNU. That is. Hmm. I mean, it is always a. By, by the way, did I yesterday notice that there is a new version? Oh, no, I think it was upcoming. Um, right. I because I looked this up last night. Was I think upcoming twenty? I, I wish they would release more early and more often. And actually, I never liked the code base of Midnight Commander, so I probably make this the next poll. You probably want to share like subscribe for the next poll. Um, not poll questionnaire, Co community question. What text mode file browser is the latest and greatest in, instead of this aging C and sometimes segment, segmentation faulting C code base that is Midnight Commander? Um, going on here. It could be possible that it's broken for invalid value for canonical build. Are you freaking kidding me? I mean, it could be as either that does not. Is it a so yeah, it is a um, bin because I'm, I'm pretty sure a midnight commander built like a year ago. So it is possible that this is a um, bin bash issue. With a fancy fancy matching or whatnot stuff. No, maybe not. Uh, do I have the line number? No. Mm. 
the check for ACCV build star star uh, dish star what the heck? This is silly. Build system type, we need this pity phone. Yeah, this is too stupid for me. Whatever stupidity is going on there, I need to debug it another day. Not interested here live on YouTube. So, yeah, that's basically it. A little bit um, review there. The only thing is we could remove stuff in parentheses. Um, just to keep the title a little bit shorter. Uh, like that, and then it's like, yeah. But leave in the comments below if you watch this later. Um, People still happy with their 39,000x. Yeah, I totally agree. I mean, use the stuff I personally also use. I still use a P3 and stuff. I, um, Of course, I have this overkill and latest and greatest for running Linux distribution in the company. If it wouldn't, and, and even in our company, we still run Phenom 2, X4, and X6 um, as Office Router and File Server and stuff. And use the stuff for decades until it literally falls apart stuff. And even then, sell it for on eBay for vintage and retro, like right right on eBay, the latest and greatest, a rare vintage, uh, rare vintage retro computing and stuff, and you can still sell your film um, and so on for good money. Uh, let's, um, so that would be, let's uh, come quickly, one more thing, regular expression for beginners. We want to substitute, so we want to substitute this I, um, stuff. So let's, uh, I had this there, I could have copied that, but uh, we're not always the smartest here. So match I and then substitute. We can, we can do that in one, but maybe it's easier like that, potentially, maybe. Uh, probably should work like that, right? Substitute all in parentheses, so that is, um, does it work like that? That is why I always like prototype that um, and then with print, for example, and then substitute on parentheses either. Okay, that worked. The only other thing maybe with spaces to get rid of spaces too. And so the only dangerous thing now is we don't, I mean, we maybe we, we want a you know what, let's make a backup. Let's port that for a second. Let's copy contrib backup just in case. Better be safe than sorry. And then svnst mm, that was grab there in. And then use that. Um, that were all files. Svnst. Edit so sedz. Uh, wait, wait, what did I copy? Oops. In place sed that stuff. Uh, what? Oh, darn. Did I have that here wrong? Huh? Oh, come on. Um, what? Or oh, maybe I. Did you know input files? Nah. Mm. I'm not particularly sure of. Mm. 
Is that the right thing here? Why is this? I mean, there is desk in there, but do we need e grab and escape? Well, sometimes this stuff is a little bit tricky. Of course, I sh could and should know that stuff, but this is always like like. Oh wait, did I? Ah oh, wait, I did this wrong. No, I did this wrong. Did someone notice it? Nobody noticed that I. This is wrong. Um, I escaped the shift, which should be used directly. Because we, of course, need to make sure we have the dot there. That's probably better. Diff urn contrib backup to contrib. That is probably how we wanted it. Mm. Meaning that theoretically is to clean up spaces in front of dots somehow. That is, if you steal other people's packages, then metadata is not at all times cleans. I guess that mostly looks fine. Yeah, it's a different source. Continue there. I had to stop this because it would error out with each package because multi because I had this backup and would T two would complain in multiple trees. Um, man, it, it's so much work to steal other people's work, right? I mean, you would think you you rob the bank and be done with it. You will many millions, but yeah, one hour later, probably live on YouTube. One hour. Three months ago, when I've stolen them, and, and three months later, still another hour just cleaning this stuff up. So, the next thing I just noticed with ZFS, of course, um, is the working title open ZFS or stuff? Um, because then I would have rather, which do we even have ZFS? ZFS views because. I mean, I would never personally use this out of tree and stuff. Okay, there's set of S and what is the difference between set of S and set of S force source? Hmm. This looks like what we would want to have GitHub. Um, I'm also not really so. Do they have also open set of S? What chaos is that here? So it looks like we would want to, and that is a cleanup, what I mean, right? Stealing all the stuff and then actually needing to um, sanitize it a little bit for our quality standards here and to work and, and not to have random, no, no, and too much, I mean, random non nonsense like set, 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 like triple set and set RAM in it and set of as whatever, Uber theme, 10K stuff. Set of as source of all things. Oh, there's even more prunes. LTS. What is what is all this garbage? Why have other distributions so much? I mean, other distributions. Hey, we have eight thousand packages, and like you look closer, like like five thousand packages. Is this some special Raspberry Pi edition, or what is this stuff? Why the heck do they have a specific? Are you kidding me? Who would have thought that stealing other people's packages is so much work? Is this an LTS version or what? Long term support version or? Nah. And I'm somewhat inclined for legal and whatnot reasons to. to name this. I mean, the set of this package will anyway not build in T2 like that. That is something for another live stream, but I would already rename that for, from set of S2. Open set of S just to be on the safe side and set of S and Needs to have the same name. Uh, yeah, slowly but steadily polishing this stuff. We could check 
Um, was it what I had previously? ST23. Unique build P I guess that's what I had. So that's the stuff currently cross compiling, which is a bit. 158 packages are currently cross compiling of this stuff. Um, and some of the stuff I wouldn't would want. So we could start committing random stuff if we want to. It's like AMD GPU fans, like what the heck even? Really specific random whatnot. Yeah, I mean, pr but again, it's I mean, not only like, what are the benefits, right? It's of course a win-win situation as always and welcome everyone, because lots of the stuff I would have never found, like set of themes and stuff. And it's already at least some metadata and um, better than none. So, yeah, I guess so all of those, actually, wait a second, we could actually, I could one, do one more, because not all of those, what we currently, I, I built, rebuilt, I try to cross compile everything, I every now and then I do that. I could, yeah, but yeah, there's not, not much, not, so all of those um, are currently, that one here, right? So yeah, maybe I start committing this stuff. Leave in the comments below what you think. I hope you learned something from real expressions to what packages exist and some surrounding thinking what to CMake extras, I think. So CMake extras is some random garbage. Uh, that's probably from KDE, I guess. Our package name is KDE. And that is even, even still, you need to be careful what random junk you commit to Unix version. Why is this stuff so up? It's, uh, it's probably all the same priority and that is probably like building up an alphabetical order currently because it's it's sorted by priority and then probably name, I guess, um, due to the nature of all the work. So it's probably stable sorted. Um, so that is probably why this is going in alphabetical order. And I guess the CMake extras is KDE stuff, which we, we have this, of course, as if, if it is what it, I think it is, yeah, uh, GitLab, oh no, or is it uh, yeah, UB ports? Collection of add-ons for CMake, no, apparently maybe it's not the KDE CMake. UB ports, I'm not sure, this is strange. Because KDE also has a package like that, so maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Maybe it's not actually KDE related. Hmm. I'm not sure. I mean, maybe that is too random. I maybe. Pff. I mean, I still have the conversion script. I probably instead of committing such random stuff, but leave in the comments below if this is some super amazing stuff. I probably defer that for if we really come across needing that for something. Um, but yeah, hey, more stuff builds. Oh, there's also no, what is free, what was it, free XL stuff? Free, wait, no, where, where, where was it? Where is it, hello? There's also some unknown package license. Uh, so yeah, we, there are still a couple of low hanging fruits of maybe they built if they wouldn't have some garbage license. Where is now my, what did I just want? Free, oh there, wait there. Free Excel. What do you have there? IT. Oh wait, why, why do we? Hmm, interesting. Must be some conversion stuff. They, hmm, strange. Maybe they, hmm, no, I have no idea what happened there. Um, should we, I mean, theoretically, yeah, this I probably, theoretically I could grab for double ITX, but yeah. 
Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this learned something between all that is going into running Linux distribution, regular expressions, scripting, oh cool, stuff in user local. Um, but hey, at least it builds. It also shows our automation first, like codeless packages of like, hey, some stuff builds, sure, other stuff needs more guidance, but drop in some stuff is also, I did not found Fuse 3. So actually Fuse 3 is probably also good that I see that. Uh, what I've put in there, contrib. Um, because I guess our Fuse package, I mean, what is it? Three, it's currently three, so. Probably some. Hello? Uh, what? Ah, maybe. Wait. Ah, where is it? Uh, did I not just see Fuse 3? Contrib Fuse 3. What did I type wrong there? Ah, wrong. Ah, this is why. Wrong directory, as per usual, too many directories. So yeah, um, not sure why they have this as use three, but also I misspelled force. So this also somehow had double i tags. I wonder how that happened. Um, I guess if we grab for that, let's quickly one more thing uh, in all of that. And yeah, there is, why do some packages have twice I tag? Um, cut the limit of that field. That I just see already quite some there. Um, unique with count and then filter all that have only one. Is shell scripting not amazing? So all of those have how many are this? 307. Hmm. Hmm. That's Kind of so many that we probably should delete that automatically because it is too many terms. Hmm. I have no idea how that happened. How could this have happened? Yeah, but I mean, 300 from 5,000, probably not that many, but okay, how do we get rid of that? Um, So either like range, does range work? Either, I'm not sure that will work from I hate typing on. Uh, I need full traffic isolation on Linux here. I I get crazy with this Apple terminal stuff. What did I want to match? I wanted to match I. I'm terminated. What did I even do here? So from one to one, and then either, if we are lucky, uh, let's see how was the syntax delete. Okay, this deletes both. Mm. I don't know what would be the best regular expression to any help in the audience. Um, basically, we would 
like only the first or only once? Hmm. Or actually we could delete like from the first line to the... F oh, this is any match, right? This probably also doesn't... I know this does work. I mean, it deletes our copyright note stuff, which would be regenerated. It's not too much of a loss. I guess that would work. Um, how does it work by chance? All right, so probably the first match is the way this works. It's probably like address one to that match. It's probably the first match. and. Yeah, I guess that would be good enough for now, the copyright. I mean, theoretically, we could... I mean, okay, we could do it a little bit more fancy if we match then only to delete i's in here. So that would be um, if that is actually matching, like not matching copyright or empty lines. Yeah, there we have it. Like probably others, uh, the source watch URL is shit. We, we are uh, for now, we leave it. So, we want this without whatever random stuff they picked there. But so, let's so let's combine that. Um, our unique thing of grabbing that and it is shell like this is like probably if you are new to this stuff, Unix and Linux are like this is why, um, Master Jedi like code. Guru meditators love um, the command line so much, right? If that would be new to you. I mean, good luck doing that on Windows. It's like, <laughs> it's actually not com competition, right? Someone doing that on, with the mouse and a file explorer and stuff on Windows and with Notepad or Visual Studio, it's probably like, you're not a 10x engineer, you are a 10x more efficient computer input user, right? Um, like so, if how do you want to be how to how, if you want to become a 10x engineer, like just use 10 10x 10x more efficient computer interfaces. So um, where is my uh, Unix? So of course we should actually find that. So it's probably that um, with word count and then um, cut. Delimiter. What, so what I usually do is like randomly guessing like five because it was not enough. Like nine, so, so maybe eight. Eight is good. SED. All right. Did, what did I copy? Oh, not enough. So all the stuff in place. SED in place of one to that. Not that. Those files. Ah, theoretically, protep make a backup. <coughs> Grab that again. So. Grab stuff, Unix. Okay, that's probably none left. Let's maybe manually review one of those. I guess it's fine. Ah, so we have it. Um, yeah, that's probably enough for today. Um, I continue working on my Storm package heist here. And our Linux version, we, we will have release soon, right? I'm basically only waiting for uh, Linux 6.1.1 and the XFCE release because now we ship a more professional fully. Uh, hey, this is released today. Um, so probably I can actually make another live stream with more sophisticated packaging stuff. Um, maybe later today in some hours with a new coffee or so or tea. So um, I hope you learned something and enjoyed this. If you haven't, maybe want to try out our Just Draw for experts some manual assembly required link distribution for all CPU architectures. And in any case, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Uh, one last question from Alex. Could you give us some advice about the Vibocom SM M24G modem, which has drivers for Ubuntu provided? Uh, the first time I heard about this. I don't know. I know a lot of stuff, but more the more precious vintage and retro um, x86 ARM PowerPC Spark. MIPS and stuff. Uh, can I just convert depth file to Arch and do you expect any problems? I um, I don't expect that to work. I mean, sure, you can convert that, right? But 
quite some manual quirking is required, especially if that is using binary blobs. It might be a major hackery to get that to link with that. But I mean, sure, you can convert that. It's probably not straightforward or easy. It's probably some, some at least quirking of, I mean, if you are super lucky, maybe it's some DKMS package thing and it might be relatively smooth, but yeah, often when I tackle some binary only stuff, if it is, I don't know, but in any case, um, good luck with that and see you next time.